Got off to a good start uh, on the first hole, which is the tenth hole. Uh, hit the green in two, uh, two putts for a solid birdie. Just kind of settled the nerves, get in a good rhythm. Uh, I missed a real short par putt on the twelfth hole, which, to be honest with you, actually set a little bit more nerves, and I could just kind of focus in on, on each shot. Bounced back real nice with a uh, par three birdie on, uh, I guess it would be thirteen, and then just kind of got into a nice little rhythm, was hitting some good shots and uh, cruising there on, which which is the front side around here, which is our back nine. Um, you know, there's a couple tricky pins, some tricky tee shots, but the wind was kind of swirling. But uh, you know, we just, you know, my, my caddy and I, we just, you know, stayed calm and stayed patient and hit some quality shots, and it was nice to birdie last. And what did you do on the last hole? If you could walk me through it, the yardage from the fairway. And... Yeah, we had 120. It was, uh, we had 125 pin, a little bit of an uphill lie, so uh, a little bit of down downwind. So it was just a, it was a soft pitching wedge for me, but a 128 number. Hit it real well. Hit it just just past the pin, and then uh, had a pretty much straight down the hill putt. Just got it going and rolled right in. And then what? A lot of time has passed since your win in Nova Scotia. What, what have you learned in that amount of time from now until then? And Honestly, I, I learned that I needed a break. Uh, I think I went four in a row right after the win, and uh, I was mentally exhausted. I, I never really got a chance to to enjoy that win, you know, because it was right back to the grind the next week in Salt Lake City and. Uh, you know, I, enjoy, I took a week off last week. I didn't go to Springfield, but I really enjoyed some time away from the game. Just kind of, kind of mentally prepared for the, this, uh, you know, stretch of six in a row coming up. And uh, you know, that's, that's that's pretty much what I learned. And then, which your um, position heading into the weekend? You've won before. What do you? What can you fall back on or take away from that experience and apply it to this weekend? Coming you know, I, I, I'm obviously the goal is to win. You know that. I mean. I, I think everybody in the field will, will always say that, um, you know, but it, as cliche as it sounds, you really just have to go out, you just focus on each shot at a time, hitting the fairway, hitting the green, putting yourself in a position to make a putt, and you just really stay steady over the, the closing 36 holes. Um, you know, there's always nerves, you're always going to be nervous, uh, you know, you, you'll be under a little bit of tension and pressure, but that's what we practice for, that's, that's what you really want, to be in that situation of having a chance to win, so, uh, you know, just staying patient and uh, staying calm and going out there and uh, executing. Roger, just reading up on you a little bit, I mean, I saw the story about when you got the invite to the Canadian Open, and I know that was probably a difficult uh, decision for you to kind of forego that and really concentrate on your web.com uh, season. In retrospect, I mean, given your position now here in Oxford this week after 36 holes, smart decision on your part? Oh, absolutely. It was actually a no-brainer, um, the way the new playoff structures work. Um, uh, there's a real emphasis on making as you know playing as well as you can out here, and uh, you know there's many more Canadian Opens to be played. I would love to have had the opportunity to play in Montreal. Uh, it's a fantastic city, great culture there, but uh, you know I really have to look after what's going on this year and, and, and my commitment to the web.com. Any friends or family back home kind of give you a hard time about it? No, not really. Actually, everybody kind of understood the situation, and uh, you know they were all in full support of what I did, and and uh, which is great. Uh, I got a great. great group of support people that uh, and friends and family that uh, you know they really enjoyed that